Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make our in bloom lace pullover. I'll be working with Kotlin DK weight yarn from We Crochet in the color Sagebrush, and this is a cotton and linen blend yarn. And you'll also need two crochet hooks for this pattern. I'm using a four millimeter G hook as well as a 4.5 millimeter G plus hook. These are Streamline Furls crochet hooks, and the color that I'm using is the Taurus. If you check the description box, I'll have the link for the yarn with how many you'll need for each of the sizes, as well as a link for the hooks with a coupon code so that you can save 15% off. So I'll begin with the smaller hook and I'll be chaining out 92. Now we'll be working single crochets. So let's work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook, but we're gonna turn our chain so that we can see the back humps and we're gonna work into those. So working single crochets in the back hump of every chain across. So you should have a total when you've worked across of 91 stitches. Okay, so that'll take a bit for me to work across the chain and when I'm at the end of the row I'll meet you back up again. Okay, I've worked across 91 stitches. Now I'll chain one and turn and I'll be working a single crochet in every stitch across. Now I only have two setup rows for my lace stitch pattern but if you wanted a little bit thicker border you could certainly do more than two rows but that's all I'm going to complete is two rows and then I'll get right into the stitch pattern. So you can just continue to work across and you should have a total of 91 stitches. Okay so I've completed working that across and now I'm just going to measure it and let you know roughly what the length of my band is. So let's measure it out here. It is around about 21 and a half at this point. Now what we're going to do is change over to our larger hook for our stitch pattern. So I'm going to turn here and chain one. And this will be our setup row for the stitch um, repeat pattern. So row one will be the setup. So we'll work a single crochet in the first stitch. We'll chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm skipping over four stitches. One, two, three, four, and then we're working a single crochet in the next. So basically our chain five here will be counting as four stitches because we're skipping over four. So we'll chain five, And we'll skip four, one, two, three, four, and a single crochet in the next. And we're just repeating this all the way across. Okay, so I'll complete that across off camera and then I'll meet you up at the end of the row. Okay, so we're ending with that chain five and a single crochet in the last stitch. We'll turn and chain three for row two. And row two will begin the repeat rows. We'll work two double crochet into that first stitch. Chain five, one, two, three, four, 
and a single crochet in the chain five space. Then we'll chain five. And we'll work a single crochet in the next chain five space. We'll work two double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet into the single crochet. So two doubles. A chain one and two doubles all in that single crochet stitch. And then we'll work a single crochet in this chain five space. We'll chain five, one, two, three, four, five. We'll work a single crochet in this chain five space. And then the single crochet, we'll repeat that again. So we'll do two double crochets. chain one and two double crochets. So blocking will help to make all of this look really nice when we're done but as you can see sort of how we're we're skipping over we're chaining five and skipping over one of the single crochets and then the next one we do that shell style stitch. Okay, so here we're at where we do a single crochet again. And then we chain five, one, two, three, four, five, skipping over this one and doing a single crochet in the next chain five. And then in this single crochet, we're doing two doubles chain one and two doubles. Okay, so we're just repeating this pattern all the way across. Okay, so as I'm coming to the end, I've chained five, I've single crocheted in the chain five space, and we're end ending with three double crochets in that final stitch. Okay, we'll turn and chain one. And now we'll begin row three. So we'll work one single crochet in the first stitch. We'll chain five. And work one single crochet in the next chain five space. Okay chain five, and then we'll work a single crochet in our chain one space. Chain five, And then we'll work a single crochet in this chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're doing our single crochet in the chain one space. Okay, so this row is really easy. We're just chaining five, adding the single crochet in the chain five space or the chain one space and just work that all the way along. Okay, so I've worked all the way along and I'm gonna end with a single crochet into that turning chain. So we'll turn and chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then work one single crochet in the chain five space. We'll work two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in the next single crochet. So two doubles, a chain one and two doubles all in the space. Okay, 
Then we'll work a single crochet in the chain five space. We'll chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And we'll work a single crochet in the next chain five space. Okay, and then in this single crochet, we'll do the two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. And then a single crochet in the chain five space chain five one two three four five and we're skipping over that single crochet and doing a, a single crochet in this one so it's just again a repeat so this time now the shells are getting offset okay so it's just like this row here except they're now offset so it begins and ends a little differently but it's the same idea so we're skipping over one of the single crochets and then in the next one doing the shells and repeating it across so i'll just do another one here with you so we're doing two doubles a chain one and two doubles single crochet right away and then chain five and single crocheting okay so just keep repeating that all the way across okay so I'm coming up to the end I have made that shell I've single crocheted we're gonna chain two and then work a double crochet in the last stitch. Okay, and now we're on to row five. So I'm gonna turn my work and I'll chain one and we'll work one single crochet in the first stitch, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, so I've chained five, we'll work a single crochet in our chain one space. This again is our easy row, we're just chaining five with the single crochet. So chain five. And now we'll do our single crochet in the chain five. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll single crochet in the chain one space chain five and a single crochet in the chain five space so really simple okay we're just going to work that all the way across so I'm going to complete that now off camera and then I'll meet you up at the end okay so I'm coming to the end I'm going to chain five and then I'm going to work a single crochet in the third chain of the turning chain so one, two, just make sure to get through here okay and then what we're going to do is just repeat rows two through three so i'm going to just chain three because that's how row two starts and this is where you can kind of have some fun with this pattern you can really make it as short or long as you want so what you're going to do is just work repeats of our rows two through five until you have the length that you would want so if you want your top to be long then just keep going i'm going to make mine a crop length so i'm going to go for around only nine or ten inches before i begin my sleeves but you could have this potentially go all the way to your knees if you wanted, really as long as you want. So I suggest just taking your body measurements, measure from your underarm down to whatever length you would like it to hit. So crop, so your waist, your hips, your thighs, or even right down to your knees and just decide where you would like your top to sit. Or you can, like I say, you can make it a tunic. So 
whatever you want if you want to go with the crop then work that about nine or ten inches I'm going to work out my repeats and see where that gets me and then once I've completed that length I'll meet you back up again and I'll show you how to work the sleeves okay so I've been working away on my top and I've done a total of three more repeats which is around the nine inch mark that I was telling you so let's just measure it here I'm at about nine inches so what I did here is the first few rows that I showed you so I like to just kind of go by the shells so this was our first repeat and then or the first few rows that I showed you so then here's repeat number one number two number three now we actually want to end on row two so row five had our chains and then row two has the shells again so that's what I've finished at and it's about that nine inches now it may end up being a little bit longer when I block it but that's where it's at right now so at this point if you had wanted to make it longer um, you could just keep going so this is the amount of yarn I have left so that just gives you an idea I could probably get another repeat I would think out of one ball of yarn so in total one two three four you could probably do up to five so if you're trying to figure out how much yarn you might need, if you're making the size to make it longer, I would go in total that you could probably have that one, two, three, four, five um, <clears throat> repeats in total out of one ball. So that's just an idea for you. Okay, so I'm finishing off here. What we're gonna do is turn our work now so that we're back to the right side of our work. I'm gonna leave this working yarn still here attached, but we're gonna come over and I'm gonna attach a new ball of yarn. So let's join in here, right into the corner. And then I'm going to chain out a total of 70. Okay, so I've chained out a total of 70. I've just fastened off and we're just gonna leave that here. And then I can just continually work across, not having to worry as I work from this side. So we're joining back on now to the working yarn which is on the right. Okay, so I'm gonna chain out a total of 50 or 71 for this side. If you're doing 50, then it would be 51. If you're doing 60, it would be 61. Just make sure it's a multiple of 10 plus one for this side of your work. Okay, so I've chained out 71. So now what we're gonna do is work a, si a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So just in case you're confused why we only did 70 on this side and 71 on this side is because we're working into that second chain from the hook. So that extra chain is not counted. So now it's actually, once we've worked into the second chain, only 70 stitches across. So then we'll chain five and we'll skip one, two, three, four and single crochet into the next. So we're just doing the same pattern we've been working throughout, but now we're gonna work across the chain. So this is our row three of the pattern. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll skip one, two, three, four, single crochet into the fifth. 
and we'll just keep working that all the way along. Okay, so I've come all the way across. You should have four chains remaining, and then we're gonna single crochet into that first stitch of the body section. Okay, and then we'll chain five, and we will do our single crochet in the chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Coming to a little snag here. And then our single crochet should be going in the chain one space. One, two, three, four, five, and the single crochet in the chain five space. So now just continue going across the body and I'll meet you up when we get to the other sleeve. Okay, so I've come all the way across. We're gonna do our single crochet in that turning chain of the body. Okay, so we started the body with a single crochet, we're ending it with a single crochet. And then we'll chain five, and we're gonna skip over four chains. So one, two, three, four, and single crochet into the fifth. Chain five. Skip four chains, one, two, three, four, and single crochet into the fifth. And now we'll just repeat this all the way along the chain. Now when we're coming to the end, you should have five chains remaining and we're sing single crocheting in the final chain. Okay, so that completes now probably the most complicated section. So we've got now our sleeves made on either side. We're gonna work back in the pattern. So this would have been row three of the pattern so now we need to do row, go back and do row four of the pattern. So to do row four, we're chaining five. And let's get our work here turned. Okay, and then one single crochet in the chain five space. work two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, and next single crochet stitch. So right here, we'll do our two doubles, chain one and two doubles, and then single crochet in the chain five space, chain five, single crochet in the chain five space, and then two doubles, chain one, two doubles, and we're just repeating this pattern. The end of this ball is wanting to give me some grief here. It keeps tangling. And then we do that single crochet in the chain five space. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, so just keep repeating that now. The pattern is gonna line up just to do the entire row here um, as row four of the pattern. And then we're just gonna continue repeating, doing our repeat pattern for half of the sleeve width. So now we're working the body as well as the sleeves all as one piece. So what we wanna do is once we get half of our sleeve width made, we'll then do a neck opening. So depending on the size you're working on, this may vary for the size of your sleeve. So I'll pop up um, the instructions for the size and how many rows in total you'll need to do. Okay, so I've been working away and I have a total of 15 rows completed for half my sleeve. And I'm just gonna show you how to do the open work pattern, which will be two rows before we start the neck opening. So we'll chain three. We'll work two double crochet in the first stitch. We'll work a single crochet in the next chain five space. And then this will be the repeat chain five, one, two, three, four, five. A single crochet in the next chain five space. One, two, three, four, five single crochet and we're just repeating this all the way across one two three four five and single crochet and in the last double you can end with three double crochet in the last stitch okay so i'm coming to the last stitch and we'll work three double crochet chain one and turn and now for row two of the open work pattern we'll work one single crochet in the first stitch chain five and then we'll work a single crochet in the chain five space Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and a single crochet in the chain five space. And we're just going to repeat that all the way across. And we'll end up ending with a single crochet in the turning chain. Okay, so, okay, so I've marked off a neck opening. Now, how I like to do this is just make sure that I've evenly spaced them. So you can do that by going across here. I'm coming down one, two, three, four, five spaces. One, two, three, four, five spaces and carrying it up. That's one easy way to do it. Another way would be to count over. Now, if you've altered the length of your sleeve, this may be off. So just make sure that you take that into account. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we're marking the 19th chain five space and you should be doing that on this side as well. So that leaves us including the marked stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten here marked. Okay, so now what we want to do is work across for this neck opening. So our row three will chain five. Work one single crochet in the chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Work a single crochet in the chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And work a single crochet. 
So I'm gonna work this across now to my marker. So now as I come across, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, and a single crochet. Okay, so that would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45 stitches. So we'll chain a total of 45. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so I've chained out 45 and now I am going to remove my marker and we'll single crochet into that chain five space. One, two, three, four, five, and single crochet in the next chain five space and I'm just gonna work that across. At the end, we'll work a single crochet, chain two, and a double crochet in the final stitch. And we will turn, chain one, work a single crochet in the first stitch, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, work a single crochet in the chain five space, one, two, three, four, five, One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we're just gonna repeat that till we get to the neck opening. Okay, so this is the last chain five space before we get to the neck opening. So we'll chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We'll skip the first two chains, one, two, and work a single crochet into the next chain five one two three four five so we'll chain five and then we're going to skip over four chains one two three four and single crochet in the fifth one two three four five and then we'll skip one two three four and single crochet in the fifth. So just repeat that now across. Okay, when you get to the end, we'll chain five. And then you'll be just doing your single crochet in the next ch chain five space. And continuing like this all the way along. Okay, so now we have the neck opening portion complete. One, two, three, four, five, and then we can single crochet into the third chain. Okay, so we'll work that single crochet, and then I'm going to chain three, and I'm going to work two double crochets in that first stitch. Then I'll work a single crochet into the chain five space. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the next chain five space. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet. And we're just repeating this all the way across. Okay, so then when we get to the end, I've single crocheted and we're gonna do three double crochets in the final stitch. So we are even with that first part of the pattern. Okay, 
And now, so now we're to the back body and sleeves and the pattern stitch, we're starting now with the pattern stitch working row one through two, five. So row one will work a single crochet in the first chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and a single crochet. Okay, and repeat that across. Okay, and we'll single crochet in the last stitch, and then I'll chain five. One, two, three, four, five. A single crochet in the chain five space. And then we're going to work two double crochet. So we're getting back into our shells, chain one, two double crochet. Okay, and then we'll single crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. So this is going to be very repetitive of what we've already done. Single crochet in the chain five space. And then in the next single crochet, we'll work two doubles. Chain one and two doubles. Then a single crochet, the next chain five space. We're just repeating this all the way across. Single crochet and then a shell. Okay, and so when you get to the end, here's your single crochet, chain two, and double crochet in the last stitch. Chain one and turn. So we'll do one single crochet in the first stitch. So this is row three, chain five. And then we'll do our single crochet in the chain one space. One, two, three, four, five. And single crochet in the chain five. One, two, three, four, five and single crochet in the chain one space. And we'll repeat that all the way along. Okay, so when you get to the end, I'm going to single crochet in the third chain. And now we'll chain three and turn. We'll work two double crochet And one single crochet in the chain five space. Chain five. Single crochet in the chain five space. And we'll do our shell in the single crochet. Two doubles, chain one and two doubles. We'll work a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet and then two doubles. Chain one and two doubles. So this is all very repetitive of the pattern we've already been working. So I'm gonna complete that all the way across. Okay, so I've come to the end with the single crochet and I will do three double crochet in the last stitch. Okay, and row five, we'll chain one and turn. 
And now we'll work a single crochet in the first stitch. Chain five. Work a single crochet, chain five, and a single crochet in the chain one space. Okay, so we're just repeating this all the way across. We're going to end, let's see here. So we'll end with a single crochet in the turning chain, work that all across, and then we're repeating rows two through five. So we're gonna do another 15 rows in total. So rows six through 15, we'll be repeating rows two through five two times and repeating row two and three one more time. So a total of 15 again, so that our this half equals the first half that we did. So I'm gonna work up those rows off camera and then I will meet you back up again when we need to mark off the body section. Okay, so I've marked off my back from the sleeves. So I worked my sleeves here, you can see how they're looking. So one easy way to kind of judge what rows you're on or that you've completed enough rows, you want the front and the back to equal. So I've counted my shells, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're ending, let me just see here. We're ending on one of our chain rows and I'll just double check which row. So we're ending on row three. And then the next row will actually be row four, continuing with our stitch pattern. But what I've done is I've marked off 70. So you remember when we chained out for our sleeves, it was 70 stitches. So it's really easy to count by fives by our chains. So just count across and, you'll, and you can mark the next stitch with a stitch marker, which should be your single crochet. And so I've done the same thing on this side. I've marked it off. So for my size in between my markers, I should have 91 stitches, which I do. So what you can do now is join on. Okay, so I've removed my marker and we're gonna join into that single crochet stitch. So I want you to continue working the back piece as if we were just continuing with the stitch pattern. So we fastened off here over on the sleeve. You would be coming back this way if you were continuing with your pattern. We'll chain three. We would have been at, we ended off on three, so we would have been at four, which is the row that we do the chain three with the two doubles at the beginning. So we want to make sure the shells are properly offset still. So now we'll single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. So you should be going over that shell here, working a single crochet in the next chain five space and then working the shell, which should be going in between. So two doubles, chain one and two doubles. And at this point, you should be pretty familiar with the stitch pattern. Single crochet, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're just gonna repeat this across the body now. So I'll complete that and I'll just meet you up at the end. Okay, so I'm coming up to the end. I've single crocheted and now we need to end with the three 
doubles in the last single crochet. Okay, so now what I want you to do is continue in your stitch pattern. I'm not gonna keep going over it with you because we have worked through it a lot in this video already. But you just want now your back to equal your front. So you're working the same number of rows that you did for the front, also for the back because we want our sweater to be even. So just now I'll pop up a little, um, the little pattern just for your repeat but just continue working now in your stitch pattern back and forth until you have the same amount as you do for the front and then I will meet you back up and we'll just finish off with that little single crochet border okay so I've been working away on my back panel and I am to now row 17 in total and we're going to be finishing with our chain row so we'll work a single crochet in the first stitch We'll chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Work a single crochet in the chain five space. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll work a single crochet in the chain one space one two three four whoops five and a single crochet in the chain five space and we're just going to repeat this all the way okay so we're ending with row 18 so our front had 18 rows the back has 18 rows so we're all evened up okay so i've worked all the way across i'm going to single crochet in the turning chain chain one and turn and now we need to change over to our smaller hook for the band so i'm just going to get this laid out i'll grab my smaller hook and then i'll meet you back up okay so with the smaller hook now we will single crochet in the first stitch and in the chain five space we're going to work four single crochet so one two, three, four, and then in the single crochet, we'll work a single crochet. Okay, so we're going to be repeating this all the way across, four single crochets in the chain five space. and a single crochet. Okay, so just keep repeating this all the way across. Okay, so once you've worked that all the way across, we're gonna chain one, turn our work, and now we're just gonna finish off by working a single crochet in every stitch across. Now, if you made your band a little bit wider than this on the front, then you're just going to want to do the same to the back. This design really is intercha and interchangeable. So the front and back are basically the same. The only difference is our shells will be going a different way to the back than they are to the front. So I'll just complete working that across off camera. Okay, at this point I'm gonna fasten off and I am gonna leave a long tail because I can use it for seaming. But our next step is going to be blocking 
So what I'm gonna go do with my top is I'm gonna wet it. So I'm gonna put it into some lukewarm water just with a little bit of dish soap and let that soak for 20 to 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna lay it out on my blocking mats and I'm gonna pin it to measurements. So I will show you um, some pictures of that once I get to that step and I'll also pop up your diagram with your measurements that you're pinning to. So after you let your top soak, you're gonna squeeze out the water and then just roll it up in a towel to take out any excess and then lay it out on your blocking mats. Now I've used four large 24 by 24 inch. If you're making a larger size, as you can see, you're gonna need some more mats for the body section. I'll pop up the clip of the measurements that you need for the medium size and for all other sizes, you'll need to go to the PDF for your blocking instructions. So just allow this to fully dry about 24 hours and then we'll remove the pins for seaming. Okay, so I've taken my top off of the blocking mats. It's nice and pressed now, it looks great. So what I'm gonna do is seam our sleeves and our sides together. So I've just put right sides facing Okay, and you just wanna line everything up to the underarm. And I did leave a long tail on this side that I can use for sewing. So we can easily line up. If you look at this, you can see the little half shells that you can easily line up along the sides. So just try to keep your lace pattern lined up as you're seaming this together. So just get your yarn needle, put that on the hook, and then we're gonna begin to sew this. Now, if your yarn piece isn't long enough, you can just go to the underarm and then start from the bottom of the sleeve and work your way that way, but uh, mine's pretty long. I think I probably will be able to do the whole thing with my tail. So I just like to really make sure that that is all lined up. It's just gonna make the side seams look nicer if you've lined up your lace pattern. And this is the benefit of making your own clothes. Quite often you'll buy, when you buy things that You'll notice a lot of times things don't line up like they should, unless it's a really good quality brand. So you're just taking a little bit of yarn from each side and just working your way just like this. And you can see the next section here is lined up well. Okay, so this is gonna take me a little bit of time to work all the way. And you're just doing the same thing on this side. You're lining up that stitch pattern, lining up the shells, and you know you'll have a great seamed finish. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work that off camera and then I'll complete the other side as well. Okay, so I finished seaming the top together. So now what I did is put these the top, so now the right side is facing out again, so it's how you're gonna wear it. Now what we're gonna do is finish off the bottom edge. So just join into one of your side seams. We're gonna use the smaller hook to do this. And this is just gonna make that bottom edge look a lot nicer just by going around and finishing it off. So I'll chain one work a single crochet and we're just working single crochets in each stitch around. Okay, so you're just gonna join in and single crochet all the way around the bottom band of the top. Make sure to be using your smaller hook. 
So I'm just gonna crochet all the way around. When I get back to the beginning, I'm gonna slip stitch to join. Okay, so I've worked all the way around and now instead of slip stitching to join, I decided I'm gonna go with the seamless join instead. So you just wanna fasten it off. Take your yarn needle. So what you're gonna do is go take your yarn needle you're going to go right under both loops of the first stitch and then we're going to go through the back loop only of the last stitch that's going to make a little faux stitch and it's going to help that to just kind of seamlessly flow so you don't see that slip stitch join and then we can just weave in our tails i'm going to need to weave in that starting tail as well I just want to get this tail hidden. And then once you've completed this, we're going to do the edging around our sleeve. Okay, so with our smaller hook, we're going to join in and I like to go to the seam for doing this as well. What you want to do is single crochet evenly around. Unless you want to make your sleeve cuff tight, then you could always decrease and pull that in to make it tight, but I'm going to keep it a wider sleeve. So I just want to try to evenly space that I'm not gathering my sleeve. So I'll do two there. two here. Basically you want to go and try a few and see how it's looking. I think that's looking good. So I'm doing one and then in this shell section I'm doing two, adding one here doing two okay and we're just going to continue around in this manner okay so once you get all the way around we can slip stitch to join and I'm just going to work another two rounds make sure to count your stitches because that way your other sleeve, you can make sure that you're on track with the same stitches on each sleeve. If you are finding, like mine is pulling a little bit, not too much, but you could always use the larger hook if you're finding that you'd like the sleeve cuff a little bit looser. Okay, so this is how mine is looking now. I have 62 stitches for reference on mine, depending on the size you're working on, that's gonna vary. I'm going to do a seamless join for this seam as well. It just makes it look a little nicer. So again, you just take your yarn needle. We're going to go through both loops of the first stitch and go through the back loop of the last. And then I'll just weave in my tail. So just go ahead and do the exact same thing to your other sleeve. Thank you. 